everyone my name is matthew and today we'll be discussing why should we consecrate ourselves to mary now in a very recent video in a very recent podcast uh, we discussed that what is mary in consecration but we also need to know that why should we consecrate ourselves to mary you see before starting and understanding why we should consecrate ourselves to mary let us understand what is consecration consecrating myself or consecrating yourself is basically giving my entirety giving my everything to somebody so if i am say for example if i'm if i have a pencil and if i'm consecrating this pencil to one of my friend i say that this this my pencil which i use i am therefore consecrating it to you which means i'm giving it completely to you and from now onwards i cannot i cannot call this pencil to be mine in the same way when we consecrate ourselves to mary we say that mary this life that i have this very essence of life that i have everything that i have is yours and i can no longer call it mine from now onwards this life the very essence of my life is yours so this is what consecration is now many will argue that you know uh, consecrating yourself to the most sacred heart of jesus or uh, giving yourself completely to the mercy of christ is fine because christ is god right but what about mary she is not god why should we consecrate ourselves to mary don't you think that this is a bit too much of you know respect that we give to her personally speaking i don't think so and there are two reasons for this one you know well, the first reason is that god gave us 10 commandments and one of the commandments says honor your father and mother now we do honor our father in fact we worship our father who is our heavenly father but what about our mother now over here also some might come with the argument that your father is your mother because it is he who has created you nurtured you uh, looked after you but we must not forget what jesus did on the cross at the foot of the cross john who was the only disciple standing to him Jesus said behold your mother he did not say that this is my mother look after her he did not say my mother he said behold your mother from that from then onwards john who was the only disciple standing who was who was representing all his disciples john got mary to be his mother and that is the reason why john from then onwards being that perfect disciple john from then onwards took mary into his house and took care of her now john represents all the disciples it would have been easier for us if we would have found all the 12 disciples at the foot of the cross then we would have said that you know all the disciples were there and to all the disciples jesus said uh, behold your mother but john was the only disciple standing so it sometimes become difficult for us to understand this thing but uh, you know we need to understand this that John and all the other disciples all the other disciples Jesus gave his own mother to them and said behold your mother and therefore it is being we being disciples of Christ it is also for us those this word is also for us behold your mother and therefore we should honor our mother and honor her to the fullest of our capacity so that is point number 1 point number 2 is when jesus gave john his own mother he also gave to mary the disciple john telling her that woman behold your son and just as i mentioned before john represented all the disciples and not just the 12 disciples but even us Je- jesus gave all of his disciples to mary st- telling her that all of them are your children now and so mary also after the death and resurrection and ascension of christ mary took care of them as her own child maybe not she was not their biological mother but she was her spiritual she was their spiritual mother and even for us she is our spiritual mother and mary was there at the foot of the cross mary was there all throughout the passion of christ and she saw how much her son suffered for the cause for the salvation of mankind and if my mother sees me suffer to such an extent that i give my life for a certain cause she will do anything in her capacity to make sure that that cause is fulfilled and so did mary 
for mary nothing is more important than my and your soul and mary will do everything in her capacity to make sure that my and your soul are safe and that is why mary for the last 2000 years even now and even till the end of time will work tirelessly to make sure all all her sons and daughters return back to her son christ for whom he gave his life in such a miserable manner now what happens when we consecrate ourselves to mary we give our life to mary and we say that mary this life is not mine but yours now you decide what you are going to do with this when mary gets our life when mary gets the permission gets her consent she will work wonders in our life and it is upon her if she wants to work only in my life so that my life is safe my soul is safe or use my soul my life for the salvation of others it depends on her but what matters to me and you is that when we consecrate my when we consecrate our lives to mary we know for sure that our heavenly mother our blessed mother will take care of our soul and that our soul will not be lost and that we won't be falling into the trap of the evil as frequently as we we used to do before and slowly but gradually we will be completely redeemed from this trap of sin so this is the reason why we should consecrate ourselves to our blessed mother because she is our mother she loves us she cares for us and she will do everything in her capacity to make sure that we reach heaven